Hello from Gardening at Duenza here in Ireland. And now, by popular demand, we have a video about propagating Streptocarpus from leaf cuttings. Okay, so before we get down to propagating this Streptocarpus, I want to introduce you to Dino. And Dino's going to tell you a little bit about yourself, but I must tell you I'm delighted to have him here because he is such an expert on orchids and brings a wealth of information to the various plants that I grow here. So Dino, tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, so I'm originally from Bosnia and Herzegovina, but I've lived in Bristol in the United Kingdom for 20 years. I'm an orchid grower for 15 years. I'm also an orchid judge and I qualified in 2013. I have my own travel company, Real Escape Travel, which specializes in orchid and botanical tours, among other tours. I also do food and cultural tours because I'm a historian by training and also a chef. And yeah, I just love plants and very happy to help Rachel here. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm very glad to have him along here now. And just to let you know that Dino's tours go to very exciting places, don't they? Prince yes. Of Governor. Yes. I mean, at the moment, I've got two regions. One is the Balkans, specifically Bosnia and Herzegovina also Croatia and Montenegro and I've just taken on Myanmar also known as Burma as well and I've got the first ever orchid tour going to Myanmar in July of this year. So you really have to check out Dino's website which I'll put in the details of this video um, he sees all these fantastic orchids in the wild if you if you were to join into one of his trips so it really is worth checking out and also Dino is starting a YouTube channel which we will link to in a more sensible manner up above because that's the only thing we can link to here on YouTube. Okay so shall we get on with the propagating the streptocarpus? Yeah sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> right so here we have one of my streptocarpus and I don't know do you grow streptocarpus? No I don't. I grow African violets but not streptocarpus. Okay yeah. okay all right. So this is a Ukrainian hybrid from uh, Dimitris, which is a yes. hybridizing school, and they're quite rare in this part of the world. So this is one I do want to propagate. Yes, this is a very special one. It's a special yeah. one, okay, a nice black flowers. It's called Black Magic. So first of all, we need to select the leaf that we're going to use for the leaf propagation. And we need to find, have a look there, if you can see something that's relatively young. Yeah, because, let's have a look. But that's, not too tiny. It's a big maybe. old one. How about maybe this one here, or perhaps okay. this one? Yep, uh, let's have a look. Yeah. So let's try that one because that one seems a bit um, younger than the other one. We want yeah, one sure. that's mature enough but still not going into old age. Okay, so would you like, there's the scissors there. Yeah. Cut so it off. Just at the base? Yep. So maybe just right down here? Yep. Right, there we go. Okay. Now, with propagating in this manner, what we could actually do is just plonk the leaf into mm. the um, substrat and it would make new plants. But we want more than just one. Yeah. So what we're going to do is be greedy and we're going to cut it in half. So if you've got the scissors there, let's yeah. cut the leaf in half. Just right here? Yeah, yeah go sideways though so oh, that you yeah, don't, sure sorry. Yes. Yeah. There we go. Super. Okay. Right, so I'll tell you what we'll also do. We'll just put that one down for the moment. If you just take off a bit of the base there. Yeah. So that... So here's a good? Yep. Yeah, and that just gives the opportunity to this leaf to produce more than one um, pop. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to moisten our compost a little bit. And I'm using a peat-based mix here because streptocarp is like a low pH like most South African plants and there's a bit of um, vermiculite perlite in there for drainage and um, so next thing we're going to do is just make a little hole like this and this is the point where we're going to bury a certain amount of our streptocarpus leaf. Oh this is a, a little trench. That's it. That's the word, very good. <laughs> it escaped me. So you want to push this down, I don't know, a couple of centimetres? Enough so that it actually can be stable. Yeah, so I think that's probably about right. And where's the other piece? Oh, it's right here. Okay, so you do the next one, Deb. Yeah, sure. You have to put these the right way up. Um, so I'm guessing Because if you were to, to put it upside down, it wouldn't... 
it wouldn't do its stuff. Okay, so there, there's my little trench. Excellent. Okay, and then so stick it in. It's just like this, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And then... There we go. Is this deep enough? I think so. And yeah. then just, um, just... Just kind of gently. Yeah. Yeah. So it's stable. Yeah. Now, of course, yeah, you could good. actually, in theory, say that leaf there, you could cut it into 10 pieces if you wanted. Mm. And in theory, they could all... Um, generate new plants but the smaller the leaf segment you have the more likely it is to rot yes. so that's why I usually go with just uh, leaf halves yeah and do um, smaller halves um, do they make the final plant smaller as well when it sprouts no no oh yeah no that's the same size babies that it oh, okay it yes yeah. okay so now we need to get a plastic cover to um, to keep the moisture in Right, so we have a plastic bag here, and do you want to put that over the top? Yeah, sure. And this step is just to keep the moisture in there. Very good. Yes. There we are. Okay, and it's nice and firmly on. Great, and let's try this elastic band around it. Okay, super. Now the best time of year to do streptocarpus leaf cuttings, I've found anyway, is June, and mm. we're in February now. So. Oh, it's March it's the first today. Oh, it's March yeah. the first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> still, June is still better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, what we're going to have to do now is put this on heat for mm. it to actually get going. If we did it in June, we wouldn't yeah. have to need to do that. And I think it's going to take about six weeks until it actually produces yeah. pops. So. That's it really. That was the video about uh, propagating streptocarpus from leaf cuttings. Yeah. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Please do check out Dino's channel called Ministry of Botany. Isn't yeah, it? That's right, yes. Okay, which we've linked to before and also his website which is called Real Escape Travel. Right, and we'll have that in the details of the video. That's all for now. Bye. Bye bye.